Okay, so I'm at the peak, it's not a very big peak, of Spurn Point, but I do have those 360 degree views all the way around. Hello, here we are again on another landscape photography mission. The plan today is to head over to the East Coast. The weather's looking pretty good again, um, so I'm hoping for a nice sunset shot on the coast. I'm going to a place called Spurn Point, which is a strip of land that goes sort of into the Humber Estuary, very thin, it's a nature reserve, so I'm hoping to pick up a little bit of wildlife photography as well. I'm going to be taking the 400mm lens with me and I'll see what I can get. I want a nice big sunset shot at the end of the day though, so I'm hoping the weather and the cloud and the light and everything else plays ball, but that's the plan for today. I've got a reasonable drive ahead, so let's go. stopped off to get a quick shot of what you can see behind me and that is the Humber Bridge. I've wanted it's a shot I've wanted for a while and while I'm still testing out the wide angle 11 millimeter lens I'm going to get right underneath the bridge and capture a shot. It's not the best time of day it's almost midday sun's high in the sky it's very very bright but so it's not the best conditions but I think I can use it to test out that 11 millimeter lens so I'm just going to walk along and get into position. Right, so I've got the camera set up. I'm using that 11 millimeter wide angle, and that is the shot behind me. I think it's, a, I'm really happy with the composition actually. It's a fairly obvious one, but there we go. I think the shot I've got looks pretty good on its own, but I'm gonna come back tonight on the way home and capture the same composition at night. Let's get a slightly longer exposure, smooth some of the water out. The tide should also be a bit further in so I can get more of the water in the sea because I'm not heading out into that sludge. But yeah, I think it's going to be interesting. It's working really well with that 11mm wide angle lens. Okay, so I've arrived and there's quite a lot of cloud come over so I'm hoping that will lift a little bit in time for my sunset shot. This place is pretty incredible as you can see. I'm going to be walking towards the lighthouse right over there in the distance. That's where I want to compose my sunset shot. Having already arrived here and had a little look around I don't think there's going to be much opportunity for wildlife at the moment. It's just a little bit too early in the season. So let's keep walking and see what we can see. Now this is quite interesting. Where I'm stood at the moment, there used to be a road here. As you can see, you can still see the little bits of it. But now, a few years ago, it got washed away by the sea, so there's no longer vehicle access right to the end of Spurn Point. And you have to be careful if you come here that you don't get stranded on this bit that I'm on now when it's high tide, because this bit will go under the water when it's a particularly high tide. I am gonna get stranded on there briefly tonight. But I'll be able to get back after high tide this evening. One benefit of the clouds coming over is that we can use it to our advantage and that comes in the form of long exposure fine art photography. Now, I've got a little composition set up here. I'm going for an exposure of about two minutes, 16 seconds, and I'm using these poles that are sticking out of the sea as my interest in the shot. And it's going to be the sort of composition of them 
it's still against the movement of that water and the clouds that will create some interest in that image. It's not the most complicated image, but I think it will, it will form a quite nice fine art landscape shot. I just want to sort of tell the story of this bit of Spurn Point where a lot of it, as you can see, has all been washed into the sea. There's flotsam and jetsam everywhere where the power of the sea has just lifted that road away and every now and again it just dumps a load of rubbish on to this beach. I'm a little bit worried about the position that camera's in as well. The tide is starting to come in. Hopefully that two minutes will go quick. Okay, so I'm at the peak, it's not a very big peak, of Spurn Point, but I do have those 360 degree views all the way around. I've stopped here to get a time lapse that includes the lighthouse there, and the cloud is starting to break. There's some nice light streaks coming through those clouds, which is going to make the time lapse really interesting, but I'd like that cloud to break a little bit more towards the end of the day so I can get some nice colour in the sky. I said colour in the sky a lot in the last video, but get some nice colour in the sky for a beautiful seascape sunset shot. So that's the plan, but I just need to wait and see what those clouds do. So I've stopped right by the lighthouse now because I wanted to get it in a shot to tell the story of the lighthouse here at Spurn Point. What I'm going for, I've got the camera set up on the tripod pointing right up at the top of the lighthouse because I'm going for a fine art sort of architectural type shot. The clouds are breaking up really nicely so they're moving across the top of the image as I go for a sort of 10 to 15 second long exposure with the 10 stop filter on there it's going to produce some nice results. Once I turn that into a, into a black and white shot uh, I think it will make a nice fine art style shot. That's the plan anyway. Spurn Point has one of the only full-time staffed lifeboat centres and because of where it is it covers a large part of the east coast totally supported by donations and it's I imagine it's very very bleak out here when the weather's not good so full respect to those guys at the RNLI. Right I'm right now at the tip of Spurn Point. I cannot imagine what it is like here when the weather's bad. It feels pretty lonely today. I am right out in the middle of the sea on what is essentially an island apart from that causeway that I walked over before. I am actually a little bit <laughs> unnerved. The other thing, the other problem I have, I'm just capturing another time lapse there, that big tanker there is about to go past, so that should look pretty cool in the time lapse. One of the things I'm concerned about though is the story, the story of Spurn Point, because even if I get some nice colour in the sky for the sunset, this beach could be anywhere. I don't feel like I'm going to capture the essence of Spurn Point because there is only that tiny little bit of colour there. So what I might do is once I've captured this time lapse, go back to the lifeboat station that I walked past to get here and try and capture something there. I just haven't found that killer composition. I've not been here before, so there's been parts of it that are a, a bit of a scouting mission but I just haven't found that right composition that I want for this seascape because I wanted to get some of the land in the shot as well. And where I was before with the lighthouse, I thought that was gonna be the point, but it just hasn't worked out quite like that. The walk back is going to be pretty brutal as well in the dark across that causeway, but that's the sort of, it's not dangerous, there's no danger involved. Uh, and that is the effort you have to go to to capture some great landscape photography, even though I haven't quite 
got that perfect shot yet. I'm certain I've got a couple of good shots today. I'm hoping I'm going to get a couple more. Uh, but so far, great day. Great day. Right, I've got the camera set up for the sunset shot. It's not exactly the composition I would have wanted. I've got the lifeboat ramp here, go at least you in one side and then the sun setting at the other side. I've gone for a slightly long exposure, six stop filter on there, just to smooth out that water a bit and maximize the color in the sky. Like I say though, it's not quite the composition I want. I'd like to get down onto this beach actually and get the lifeboat in there as well, but both those things haven't proven possible. So, it's been a great day though. I've had a really good time. This place is crazy. It's well worth a visit. Very strange place. Something I've not experienced before. <laughs> it's created a very strange feeling in me as well. A little bit of isolation. I am much more a mountain man than I am a coast man, but there we go. That's just me. Please do give the video the thumbs up if you enjoyed it though, and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and you wanna see more of these vlogs. I'm putting videos up every Wednesday and every Sunday, and I will see you on another one very soon. But for now, I am Adam, and this is Spurn Point, out.